hello students uh, good evening and uh, looks like uh, there are around 30 students uh, who have joined the session today and uh, we have given sufficient time for students to join it is supposed to start at 5 pm and we have given uh, enough time for students to join so let's get straight into the wagon some students have started typing uh, their uh, name and college and the year of pass out so we yeah, are um, most probably most of the students who have joined the session today have come looking forward to understanding what's next. You have passed out in 2023 this year and uh, looking forward to what's next and what has to be done to be able to get into a good career um, in the uh, coming year. Okay, so. Uh, first thing I'll have to tell you is uh, if I have been telling probably few of the students who are attending the session might also have uh, might know this. It is very difficult for uh, students without the uh, without the support of college or an agency to get into to get into a uh, into a very good uh, uh, career after passing out from the college. Without a college, it is very difficult because for hiring freshers, all the companies uh, reach out to colleges or reach out to certain um, tie-ups. If they have tie-up with somebody, they will reach out to them. So otherwise, uh, it is very difficult. Uh, when students migrate to cities, like migrate to Hyderabad or migrate to um, Bangalore, uh, Hyderabad to get into some career, to get a training program and get into career. But I saw very little success related to that, you know, attending, uh, attending hiring sessions and open platforms is very, very tricky and almost equivalent to lottery. Okay, so let us... Uh, yeah, thank you. So students, please put yourself on uh, mute. We'll be uh, disturbing other students in case uh, you are uh, switching on your uh, audio. No, if you have any question, please type in the chat. I'm continuously looking at the chat. And uh, I know when it comes to uh, your questions, I can take the questions and I can immediately answer your questions uh, when, it, uh, when you have, yeah. So uh, most of you must be coming here. Uh, I know I saw the title of the session and it is looking at emerging technologies for your careers. So what are the emerging technologies that are uh, you are looking at? Can you type here what are the technologies you think you have to do? Uh, let us make it a little bit more interactive because only I speak doesn't uh, help you, help, uh, you understand the things that you need. Because it is, uh, you have to, I have to understand where you stand with respect to understanding of the market, of the trainings, of the technologies. I need to know. So please type to me. Yeah, people are typing. Anjali has typed cloud computer. Panindra has typed data science. Only two people have typed. Need more of you to type here. Yeah. I will need to understand you to guide properly. Please do not switch on your... Uh, admin, admin, please, please, please mute everyone. A few students have typed this AI ML. Web development, DevOps, data science, full stack, AI, cloud computing, data science, machine learning, interactive AI, full stack, web development. Somebody has typed civil engineer. I purposefully skipped it because I'm not sure. You know, that, that's what that, what that means for getting into a job. Probably you are from civil engineering background. Uh, so you, you know, what I'm talking today and most of the, most of the jobs around, most of the corporate jobs that students like come from computer science. Okay, so even yesterday I was talking to one of the TPOs and he was saying even when 
somebody gets a job related to mechanical engineering and chemical engineering the students come back because they don't like that kind of a job they are very very hardcore jobs not white uh, collar kind of jobs that students imagine so if most of you understand telugu shop floor turipistunaru like this uh, they are coming back students are coming back is what uh, tpo told me okay most of the careers are around computer science related backgrounds what students like and what parents want their children to settle in that kind of jobs are mostly related to computer science okay so certain uh, students have certain kind of understanding about various emerging technologies say data science and full stack artificial intelligence cloud computing machine learning interactive way so there are number of things that students have typed okay now um so let us talk more about your jobs only so you also type me how can you find once you are out of the college how will you find jobs what are the different ways that you will find jobs let me find out uh, what students are thinking because once we ran uh, a survey to 23000 students who passed out in 2022 after they passed out in i think september or october quite well after they passed out in march april may in september or october we raised us we did a survey blackbox did a survey with lots of students and uh, 23000 students and almost 20000 students still were believing that they will be getting a job immediately how nobody have an, nobody has an idea so students really really are uh, not are little bit far off from reality so reality is once you are out of college how can you find who will find for you off campus how many are there off off campus fanindra you are right very little off campus are there i am not even sure how many get into off campus placements okay next question and uh, everyone can uh, probably answer this question what are the technologies that you have to learn to get a job job oriented technology programming tests and tests that they will give you you might have already sat through certain tests in your college so what technologies they give you tests in very hard to get gayatri that is so true gayatri i become more concerned than the student and their parents once the student is out of college i am more concerned because it's very very difficult so my question next is you might have already sat in few campus placements related uh assessments in what will they assess you what are those assessments what will they assess you in aptitude reasoning and coding okay got it so what in what they will give you a coding test in coding total about software jobs ha huh? yeah we are talking about software jobs because uh, harsha uh, what we have found is uh, not many are there not in the it's not uh, college responsibility or college is not able to find it it is not like that the country itself doesn't have jobs uh what are you mechanical or civil civil ma'am civil okay civil still has certain uh, support uh, you, certain opportunity is still there harsha in civil um you might be able to because construction is always happening right so there will be certain kind of role always related to civil just that uh, you will have to <laughs> Uh, please put put yourself on mute, guys. Mm -hmm. So it is possible uh, for uh, civil students 
just that there are only few what, what happens is harsha for mechanical and civil for civil organizations the very good jobs are very few and these go to uh, tier one colleges like iits and all that's where they hire from uh, probably you can uh, go to different uh, organizations uh, civil related like aparna constructions or there are lot of construction companies just that uh, most of these most of the uh, you know jobs around in these construction companies are sales instead of uh, you know what you learn as part of structural engineering and things like that most of the jobs related to civil engineering are sales so you might have to look into how you get these jobs little difficult and uh, also not the not what you have what the kind of jobs that you want in civil engineering not those kind of jobs what you get is mostly sales and marketing kinds of jobs in uh, in construction companies okay so today we are going to speak mostly about computer science related and i want to tell you if there are any mechanical and civil engineering students in this session there is uh, the lines between computer science and other engineering's have blurred that means you know computer science has crept into every engineering it has gone into every engineering even in mechanical engineering say if you have to build build a driverless car a driverless car has major component related to artificial intelligence and data so the lines between computer science and other engineerings have actually blurred and computer science has crept into every engineering um, uh, discipline okay so it is very important for you along with your uh, mechanical or civil or biotechnology whatever engineering you belong to it is very important for you to understand these latest technologies it is very important because this has crept into everything moreover those white collar jobs that you are expecting from after engineering that you have to sit into a comfortable place into a nasi building where they have they give you they give you good respect and good opportunities to grow there are uh, uh, you know there are many you know why parents like this kind of white collar jobs is there is pf there is pension there is uh, there are there is an insurance there is a leave system proper leave system okay there is respect there are certain really important human resource aspects taken care in computer science based companies that is why many of the students or parents would like their children to work in certain kind of companies that because of being smaller companies construction companies cannot offer you that kind of careers that you will have to remember okay so even if you are belonging to mechanical and civil engineering you will have to learn computer science why do you think why do you think government has asked introduced this year from this year on every student has to complete a minor along with a major degree in say in mechanical or civil or any other engineering a student has to complete a minor in computer science why why they have asked you to complete a minor in spite of you becoming an engineering in your interested area is that is where the opportunities are in the country okay so this is uh, the basis of why you will have to learn certain kind of emerging technologies um, because it has crept into every single you take uh, manufacturing or construction or pharmacy or healthcare or uh, supply chain something like flipkart or anything or blockchain money finance anything related anything any business in this world computer science has taken place has taken little place in that business very important place though it is little very important place and because most of the jobs in india come from other countries the respectable jobs high paying high means decent paying jobs respectable jobs come from companies which in turn dependent are dependent on 
on projects from other countries. So what do you think the big companies that hire you, say Wipro or TCS or Cognizant or Accenture or IBM, all these companies which hire students in large numbers, where do they get, uh, where do they get their projects from? How do they make money? They get projects from outside country and all of them work in computer science related projects. They, because it is outsourceable also. Construction work in US can't be outsourced to India. But the background of construction work can be outsourced to India. So every aspect in uh, what happens in Infosys is there are verticals. There are verticals called, there is uh, energy utilities vertical, there is manufacturing vertical, there is finance vertical, there is media vertical. There are lots of verticals like what I have mentioned. And in every vertical, they need computer science. That's how it is in Infosys or uh, Wipro or any company that TCS, wherever company which you know, they have these verticals and each vertical, manufacturing also has a vertical. They'll send computer science related work to India and that is where you work. Gayatri, it is also true, there is a lot of recession and if you just to type, into your, type in your Google that layoffs in uh, IT sector, layoffs in uh, corporate in India, there will be lots of layoffs. That means they are removing a lot of people who are not able to learn the new technologies. Because I, I, I have so a brief background about me is my name is Anuradha Tota and I am Managing Director of Black Buck Engineers. And I have worked like you, I have passed and then I have worked in uh, Satyam Computers then, now it is Tech Mahindra. I worked in Wipro, I worked in Microsoft, mostly in US and UK. Then I came back and I did MBA from ISB, started my own organization, which is Black Box. So I know a lot about these companies, where, how, how they work. Okay, Most of the companies are dependent on outside India projects. And recession is true because of recession. Because And I, I would say like if I started a while back, some 20 years back or 15 years back or 10 years back in, compute, in, in some, one of these companies, I will know Java and I'll get a job easily that time. And today, technologies have changed. Somebody has to learn new technologies to be able to complete their projects in, the, in, in, in these companies. So when you start 10 years back and you are not able to adapt to new technologies, then you are automatically, they will remove you and send it, send out of the company. So... Layoffs is true, recession is true. That is why jobs are all difficult. And that is where students, when they are passing out college, college without a job, there are people, there are traps. So most important thing I want to tell you all is don't fall in traps. What happens is your seniors, somebody still didn't get job, they will tell you and you will still listen. Most of the students, uh, I'll tell you, Gayatri, what you'll have to learn. So most of the students are, uh, what happens is they follow what the students say and they will go and join in Kukatpalli, Amir Pet, some J spiders, Q spiders or something like that. And why did you join? Did your senior get a job? Nobody has an answer. So first thing I want you all to take away from here is don't fall in traps. Okay, that is very important. So let us get into this session of emerging technologies is transforming the world. And as people have mentioned here, artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science, there are lots of jobs available in the industry, but these are very chosen. That means masses, that means they won't accept 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 people, jobs are not there. These jobs are very, very, um, I mean, uh, very limited. They are very limited. Artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science are limited to superior trained people. They are not mass jobs like they take 10,000, 20,000 people. And moreover, if you are getting a job, even in Java related project, they will prefer a person who knows these technologies. That is because they also have to change the technologies very soon. Companies are changing, their projects are changing. 
what kind of projects they are getting are changing so even if you are selected for a java based project based on your java knowledge still artificial intelligence machine learning and data science related knowledge or a certification will be considered as added advantage it is very important that you know or have a certification in this area so what would you, what should you do if you are doing a data science project the easiest of everything of all the things of all the things i am going to tell you today of data science machine learning artificial intelligence cloud technologies and cyber security what is the easiest is data science it is not very big coding kind of work you need to know certain technologies operating these technologies and certain data skills so even if you know excel very very well you can still be a very good data scientist all right so here is where you will have to see capabilities in data science what you will learn as part of data science you will learn statistics you will learn programming skills you will learn machine learning data management and communication skills so you will be learning uh, all these aspects related to data science why communication skills is important that is because whatever you derive from analyzing the data you will be able to effectively tell them in terms of prescribed action what the question that may come to you is yeah, i am amazon or i am flipkart my sales have gone down i am zomato my sales have gone down now you look at the data and tell me what i have to do to improve my sales so you will look at data of number of years of last 10 years and current year and see what the trends are and then come up with a solution to tell you will have to take so and so actions to be able to do a decent business this year that is what you will have to come up with for all these things you also need communication skills so you will have to learn statistics programming machine learning mainly data management and communication to become a data scientist that has to be step by step here is where i'll have to tell you who are we so blackbird engineers exist from past 10 years some of your colleges must be knowing uh, blackbird engineers already we are an award winning organization in terms of placements in terms of we put lot of uh, energy in placements and also energy in training the students uh, our partner you all must be knowing from the poster that has been circulated to you this is on behalf of jntu so jntu and blackbox together has in, started this program and it will be conducted in the campus of jntu or online whichever you prefer uh this can this will happen so in jntu campus in hyderabad which is very prestigious and also very trustable that is what i am saying in and again please go to a trustable organization please don't fall traps in traps they will show 10 organization names this is where i'll place you join and students join there there is no proof nothing but students still join there i still don't know how to dupe students and in what cases students trust i i still can't believe how they trust duping people okay but anyway uh, that is a different session uh, here is the the list of concepts that you will learn step by step in 6 months to become a machine learning engineer you will learn maths and statistics you will learn python you must be knowing python already but there is lot to learn within python to become a data scientist you must be learning litin python and it must be very easy uh, drag and drop but there is lot to learn within python where you know java there is lot to learn within java to be able to become a good programmer or good data scientist you will know sql and databases and different tools and in this tool there is also excel and widely used even till today lot of where people use lot of data say swiggy or flipkart i speak to the data scientists in those places and they still use excel predominantly but there are other tools like tensor flow and there are a lot of other tools that you will learn they are very sophisticated easy to use than excel then data science libraries in python you have to learn you have to learn machine learning concepts also why is machine learning concept important in data science otherwise it doesn't make sense to us in ma without machine learning data science doesn't make sense 
of all the data you see what you will do in the next step in machine what you will do next step your system has to understand what kind of data you are getting okay suddenly people used to use lot of eat eat order lot of biryani in zomato okay nowadays if you see the data the lot of uh, probably lot of uh, uh, orders you are getting for uh, say curd rice instead of biryani the trend has changed how will you know you have been always giving discounts for biryani because that is highest sold one now you have to start giving discounts for curd rice because the trend has changed so your system has to keep looking at the sales to be able to offer the discounts so machine has to learn nobody is going to see you will have to see the data understand the data and write a program so that the machine will automatically understand to give discounts that is only one example i have told you but there are lots of activities that that are done in a company related to data in finance in loans in giving loans or every sector in uh, sales when me mechanical me manufacturing any sector you will the system has to learn from the data that is why you will have to learn machine learning and implement those into those activities okay so you will learn machine learning concepts advanced concepts and then deep learning concepts so all these things okay today itself uh, uh, you know so what happened is uh, whether a tv is can be fit in a wall or not there is already an app to check whether the size of the tv fits in your wall or not properly you just take the video of your wall and it will tell you whether it will fit there properly or not how how uh, i know without our knowledge how much of deep learning concept has already crept into our lives you take a photograph and upload in facebook or instagram with your friends it will suggest you the names of those people how how does it suggest the names of your people so there are deep learning concepts also so within data science you cannot remove much of machine learning much of artificial intelligence they are interrelated to an extent so when you learn data data science from this jntu black box course you will also learn machine learning you will also learn little bit of artificial intelligence actually the three are very interrelated you join an artificial intelligence course then also we will teach little bit of data science and machine learning so the three are very very interrelated and um, okay let us get into next steps so this is what you will learn so tools and libraries is what you will have to learn there are lots here is the list of tools and uh, libraries that you will have to learn python r sql jupyter notebook then pandas this till here just the names you will be knowing you must be knowing college might have conducted certain sessions you must be knowing but there is more to it than you what you learn in the college the pandas numpy skykit learning and then tensorflow keras matplotlib seaborn tableau apache spark so these are the tools that you have to learn for data analytics how to how to do visualization of what you have understood through the statistical features that you have done how to generate dashboards how to show data analytics and how to work on that uh, on the machine learning how to do graph processing so all these activities will be uh, part of your uh, activities day to day activities in the course conducted by jntu black box okay so there are real projects that you will be doing you will have to build chatbots uh, so just to check if how many people are listening tell me what is the latest chatbot uh, that everybody is using these days i'm sure everybody knows this yeah of course yes everybody knows this so you all know what magic chat gpt is doing and they are locking horns google and microsoft microsoft has purchased or invested in chat gpt and then google has come up with its own what is google chatbot called but okay anybody differentiated chat gpt and bard which one is better which one is better chat gpt okay chat gpt best <laughs> okay 
All right. Okay. Fine. So now, um, so you will be doing projects related to building chat bots. Of course not. At the level of chat GPT, it is very difficult. It is years of years of hard work that will take to make something like chat GPT. Using chat GPT, yes, you can do wonders already. Uh, there are uh, they have given certain kind of uh, APIs which you can build in your own system, use it in your own system. Then uh, say credit card fraud detection, fraud detection or fake news detection, driver drowsiness depending on this I, and then uh, sentiment analysis of what is the Twitter sentiment. Say, say there is um, some news like um, say every student has to complete a minor along with major some policy has come. So what are the students thinking about this on Twitter? They will give a sentiment analysis. And all these things you can uh, do, choose, uh, you know, your own kind of uh, projects that you want to do, detecting cancer. So healthcare has so much of, uh, in, a lot of jobs related to data science, machine learning are in healthcare sector, hospital uh, sector and uh, pharma. Okay. So these are the uh, important pro projects, you will build portfolio. That means as part of this JNTU uh, black box course that you will be doing for uh, six months. See, there is three months course and six months course. In three months course, you will not make great changes to your knowledge. Three months will happen like this. In three months course, nobody can give you life-changing knowledge uh, you know, and get a job for you within the three months. So I would suggest six months course. And in the six months course, you can see portfolio building and uh, you can, uh, every day there will be some activity and you will be able to build a portfolio of projects, not one single project. You will be building your own website and in that you can display your portfolio projects. Okay. And uh, that is how you can show when you sit in a, interview they ask what did you do how do you how will anybody know in a short period that you are a good resource to me you have to show your projects so every time i interview for for uh, black books when i sh when i ask them show your project nobody showed till now no one showed me till now after so many years of in 10 years of uh, of uh, people joining black books till now nobody showed their project you should have your own website where you can show your projects. You ask, you know, if it is Gayatri, you can say Gayatri.com, please check. All my projects are there. So you will have to build your portfolio. Then you will have to show the results that you have. You also, that means you have to show your application of skills. You have to use TensorFlow and Sales. So the, here I used TensorFlow and I generated this result. You should be able to show the applications of this is all what will make you do as part of this uh, course with JNDU. Okay. And <clears throat> cybersecurity careers are also very good. Uh, a lot of, uh, you know, almost one third of investment in many companies is lost because of theft, cyber theft. So in many organizations, uh, even in the, even in US, cybersecurity has a lot of jobs. And uh, there are lots, lots of roles that are uh, that they take: application development, security, cloud security, risk management, threat intelligence is used by lots of banks. Incident response: What happens when, uh, say, somebody hacks the website of a company? That is incident response. Compliance and controls: That means the government will say you will have to follow certain rules if you are a big company that is called compliance and control so you will as a it cyber security engineer you will make sure all the cyber compliance and controls imposed by government are followed well in your company data privacy and security so there is a lot of theft a lot of employees take data in their websites you might in, in their pen drives you might have seen in uh, movies that people take lot of coal and they make lot of loss to the company. So, so all these things, there is lot of scope uh, even in cybersecurity. And for that also, you will have to build a step-by-step uh, -step skills. So your cybersecurity related coding foundations and security essentials, then offensive security. That means who will hack? These people will be hacking team. Red team people will be hacking team 
Defensive security means these people will be stalking, uh, st stopping team. So offensive and defensive teams will be there, and uh, you will be made two teams to learn how to uh, how to create, how to hack, and how to defend. So this is what uh, happens in building your cyber cyber security skills. And a uh, lot of roles, as I said, a lot of roles will, uh, even malware, right? In companies, you will have to, for threats and malwares, you will have to take care of that. And then um, there will be security in every aspect of, uh, say, at the database, in the cloud, and then in your own uh, front end, everywhere there will be loopholes. So how to find out those loopholes? Everything will be, here is where, you know, our infrastructure, there will be problem. Application, there will be problem. Cloud, there will be problem. Network, there will be problem. Everywhere, there will be problem in a computer science complete end-to-end -end infrastructure. So this everywhere, there will be cybersecurity members needed. Okay. So even cybersecurity careers are very good. And uh, everybody needs the, all the libraries and platforms will be taught as part of this program. So uh, data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence, cybersecurity. So these are all projects just like what I've exp uh, explained to you already. So for, uh, uh, you know, to be able to give certain time for questions, uh, I will uh, skip more details on that. Why I, I want to spend certain time on full stack career path because Gayatri, as you asked already, full stack career path is what I strongly suggest for any student here when you take full stock full stack career path we'll also teach you a little bit of ai ml data science to be able to understand and speak in interviews but uh, all the tests when they test you for assess you whether you are suitable to join a company even if they are uh, hiring you for ai career First thing they are testing is algorithms. How are you able to uh, uh, code? Algorithmic testing is one. Then they are also testing mostly on. Uh, uh, your voice is breaking, ma'am. Uh, can you, someone can tell? The voice is breaking or how? Students, can you please type if my voice is breaking? Because somebody has just said uh, my voice is breaking. Can you also tell me if it is breaking? Oh, it is clear, right? It is clear, Raj. <clears throat> okay. So um, this is very important part of this session. Uh, honestly, um, I want to tell you, uh, in all the programs that you take up, you know, uh, these are all buzzwords, artificial intelligence, machine learning, those are all buzzwords and everybody is uh, leaning towards it. But because we are more than anything else, we are concerned with the careers of the students. We tie up with a lot of companies who test through our platform. We have a platform called TapTap and companies test students on our platform. They pay us for testing students on our platform. So from all the tests they are conducting for, uh, for students to, for assessing students and hiring them, they are conducting in, lot of full stack related technologies. They are conducting in Java, JavaScript, React. Most of high paying organizations are conducting in JavaScript and many companies like innumerable companies or most of the companies are testing in Java and backend you should know MySQL and a little bit of a, a no SQL databases like MongoDB. MongoDB and MySQL on front end, on, you, you need to know AngularJS, JavaScript, Java. These are the certain technologies. HTML, CSS should be baby, baby game for you. HTML and CSS, CSS should be just a baby game, but remaining are important. All these technologies full stack end to end, you will have to know because most of the, because we work very closely with recruiters, even for hiring people for, who are experienced four to five years also, they use our platform called TapTap. I don't know if you can see our TapTap screen. This is the screen. So they conduct assessments like hacker rank. They conduct assessments onto our system. And in this assessments, they will, uh, what we have seen is most of the time they are conducting tests related to Java, JavaScript, 
and with a backend, with a database, MySQL and all. So be prepared for, I, I can't stress enough, but it is very important for all of you to remember this. If you are look, looking forward, and that's what I assume when you are in this session, what happens is they are testing for mostly full stack. Uh, Gayatri, as I said, AI, DS, algorithm, data science, machine learning added advantage, but when they are testing, they are testing in full stack. You can't call just Java or Python, and especially they said, we won't test in Python, recruiters said, we won't test in Python because Python doesn't give me understanding about a student capability. It is just drag and drop, everyone is not is able to do. We don't know if a student can understand and write an algorithm in a particular language. So you can even write in C or Java, but not in Python. So AIDS machine learning are added advantage. If you join a full stack also, that program should have little bit teaching about all these new technologies. Because some, if you don't know these technologies, some companies are even removing those people. So you will have to learn end to end all these technologies. And that is the beauty of this program, especially designed for students who have passed out without a job. JNTU, it is happening in JNTU most trustable and it comes with with interviews job interview as many i mean till you get the job it is a most trusted path that till you get a job they will be posting you jobs and helping you preparing you for that interview when a job comes say for example there is a job posting from a company and there are 30 students in this batch of jnt what they will do they will bring one person to talk to you on how the test will be. A person who is working from Black Box JN to you only, a person who is working in that company will come and explain to you how the test will be, how the assessment will be, how the interview will be, how you need to answer, what happens in that company. All this they will explain to you before you go and write the test so it becomes easier. And this thing will happen till you get the job, not one time, twice, thrice, but till you get a job, they will be continuously handholding you and placing you in a job. That is the beauty of this program. It is trustable. And finally, it will make sure that they, you will get a job and be placed. I will say Java full stack is best, Chintam uh, ready, quote ready. Java full stack is be best compared to Python full stack. <clears throat> then why, ma'am? Uh, so, as I explained, uh, quote ready, that uh, the, when testing, when, uh, when they are hiring you, when they are hiring a fresher, they are not going with a Python test. They are saying Python is just drag and drop. It will not give us an understanding about students' capability of learning. Even if they put you in Python project, they are testing in Java. Did I answer you, Coach Reddy? Okay, all right. So, a lot of roles are there and uh, whatever, uh, at the end of the day, all said and done, most jobs you will get as developer backend or developer full stack or developer front end. So, uh, full stack is what I say for most of the students will work when you learn, okay? <clears throat> for career. Already in career, say, those people you learn artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science because projects in those areas are coming. And if you do not know, they will remove you. Okay, Pavan Tula, uh, the sessions are both online and in JNTU campus. However, guys, I will have to tell you, even if you learn online, it is best to be available around in the place where you are looking for a job. Say, for example, if it is in Hyderabad, you will have to be around in Hyderabad to be able to best attend, uh, attend the interviews whenever it is required. This is because, see, I have seen many students say, tomorrow is the interview. They will say, I will have to catch a train and come. Can I come day after tomorrow? So that is how people lose certain times, uh, certain jobs. But if it is not possible for you to be in Hyderabad, then do it online. 
best is i suggest for best uh, results be at the place of jobs okay <clears throat> so most of the sessions will be still online uh, session you can attend this online so do not worry about uh, not being at hyderabad good step for you is to be in hyderabad is what i say okay so uh, if you are interested guys uh, because we are uh, close to 6 now and i was given only one hour time uh, i will have to stop in a few minutes so if you are interested to join the day jntu program uh, please sign up in the uh, link given in the chat box so in in, in uh, full stack you will learn so many things here uh, you can see on the screen you will be learning all these things the front end tire and uh, middle tire and database tire there will be so many technologies related to full stack as i said very well designed for uh, you students to crack jobs so you will go from step by step and also include data science also include machine learning and artificial intelligence also includes java and python somebody has asked which one is better this program includes java this program includes python this program includes mysql and also mongo db this program is nothing but not particular just to learn java and search for java this is treats you teaches you things for cracking the jobs that we bring okay lot of jobs we bring i don't know if i have put in this uh, you will learn everything all of these things you can see on the screen there are dozen technologies that you will have to learn you should be able to speak confidently once you develop a system how do you put it in cloud you will also have to learn a little bit of cloud how will people access it so through version control and cloud you will have to put all these things in cloud so you will have to learn little bit of how you deploy okay and uh, real projects you will work on uh, you will build your portfolio you will show your results the skills you have learned all those skills you will show so all these things you will be able to show in this so uh, i can show you certain so these are our companies that we have tied up with all the students we have placed we usually contact uh, people with uh, hiring with high packages this column e is for packages you can see 17 lakhs 6 16 lakhs 6 lakhs 26 lakhs i'm not saying all of you will get that it depends on individ individual communication skills your personal backgrounds also how much if you come from a corporate uh, world personal background that your dad is a corporate world person or something like that high chances to get into higher placements so it depends on personal backgrounds it depends on your individual skills how you present so there are different even 4 lakhs are there 10 lakhs are there 8.6 lakhs are there different kinds of companies though but don't don't worry about how many lakhs you get at this juncture getting into job is single most single most important thing that has to be done or getting into your head even if it is when you come to hyderabad join somebody as for free also it is fine but getting into a job is super important at this juncture for all the students okay so students kartik uh, and gayatri for 3 month program it's 25000 and uh, for 6 months program it is 50000 but there will be a test and also there will be a um, they, they uh, jntu is ready to give scholarship for people who do very well in this exam there will be a test and after the like just like jntu test will be there for mtech and ms for this program also there will be a uh entrance test and there will be certain kind of uh scholarship for students who have done very well in this exam okay so that is about it Do, i have seen students worry so much about paying the fee but they spend so much coming to hyderabad and spending so much on every month so probably the fee structure 50000 we can make an arrangement so that you can pay in a decent installment okay so that is what we can do you fill in this form which is exam is online not offline gayatri so it will be aptitude reasoning and little bit of coding so don't worry about the exam also <clears throat> it will be easy you can crack the exam so don't worry about it so one thing is this link that uh, rajkumar sir has posted 
fill up that link so that our guys will get back to you explain about fee structure and the arrangement you want in case you want a installment arrangement or what can be done related to that our uh, our team will be able to tell to you about what kind of arrangements can be done to be able to pay fees comfortably okay but take it for granted nothing or no company no institute will give you that kind of uh, a, a, you know arrangement where they will keep on giving you uh, um, placement opportunities and they'll invite your companies onto jntu campus to speak to you and get the jobs immediately okay so that is what uh, you will have to do and one important thing guys and not for black box but in general i'm telling you is the delay more delay you make the more gap you have on your resume one year two years it almost keeps becoming very difficult to get into a job the more gap you will give after your btech the more it will become difficult to get a job uh, take those things into consideration and uh, i want to close by again by saying please get into a program project uh, uh, that gives you career number 1 and which is trustable don't trust back doors give me 2 lakhs i will give you job such things please don't trust i will make you fudged resume i will create a uh, experience for you and all these all these bad things don't do because companies have become very smart and they are removing after you give 2 lakhs and you get into the company immediately they are removing that is another uh, another arrangement of those people so get into a company with proper understanding proper learning through proper assessment after that no looking back for your entire career so i want to close this by please see you are going in the right route get into a program that you are trustable and where you get a job because this next 6 months is very important for life and career after which it is becoming it will become very difficult to get a job so take your decision very wisely whatever decision you take take your decision very wisely okay thank you so much guys please fill that form and uh, get back and uh, jntu is a trustable place